various artistical works are being brought to life, depicting the story of former President Kenneth Kaunda, who many have described as larger than life. Musical videos, drawings, among others, are being televised and heard on radio. Aside from this, artists across the country have too come on board and some of these works have been placed at Lusaka's National Museum. And National Arts Council says its associates have been engaged to produce works in remembrance of the first president. We've talked to all of our associations and uh, each genre is representing KK uh, in a different way. So we have a running uh, tribute, uh, poetry tribute and uh, prose tribute, which should be closing on the 30th of uh, June. Then we're going to share with everyone. All our comedians have sent videos of um, uh, KK, how he used to be and that sort of thing. And then we've also got uh, the musicians. I think every day a, mu a musician is uh, producing a new tribute to our, our founding father. Zambian filmmaker Frank Kasonde is one who received blessings from the Kaunda family to produce a movie of the founding father. So I've been working on this project for the last about 14 years now. And um, according to, to the family, I'm the only one who's granted the right to do a movie about the history of uh, Dr. Kenneth Kaunda, so, which is something that I know and I believe is very important for us as a nation to actually make sure that we actually see it to, to come to life. So my message to all Zambians is that let's ensure that we actually, you know, record the history of a nation. We have a lot of characters we can play. We're talking about the Ali Mwamangangkumblas of this world. We're talking about Kapuepues. We're talking about Lenshina. We're talking about Mshala. There are a lot of stories that we can actually tell as creative. The family of Dr. Kaunda has endorsed Mr. Kasonde to make a movie about the former president. The movie is expected to attract a list of actors to document Zambia's founding father's life. Fochi Maleta, ZNBC News, Lusaka.